respected students welcome back everyone as i had promised yesterday only in power bi service tutorial part 2 that i am going to make specific video particular on pro account versus premium account okay so these are the important 8 to 9 points i will explain you in detail everything you can also take screenshot of this but make sure you are staying till end because in detail i am going to tell you everything in this video okay so before starting the video if you are new on our channel make sure you are subscribing and pressing bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media especially instagram and telegram okay so let's start with the video so today's video is especially on pro account versus premium account why we need this account because when we create power bi reports for publishing it and sharing with your client business stakeholders okay to make it online we need a account okay so i have also given you example in i guess power bi service tutorial number one that time for example let's see uh, let's say that you are having mobile you have taken a selfie okay right now that photo is in your mobile only but to make it online what you are doing you are uploading it either on instagram facebook okay whichever social media account you are using same way when you create the power bi report it is only in your Power BI desktop only, but to make it online, to share with your uh, clients or managers or business stakeholder, everyone, you need to publish it. And for publishing, you need an account of either pro or premium. Mostly pro accounts are only there, 70 to 80 percent. I can guarantee you mostly in every uh, project, pro account is only there. If your project is at advanced level or your data, uh, data is so huge, in that case, premium accounts are used. Okay, so the first difference between pro and premium is that the pro account fee is $10. In premium account, there are two types, premium per user and premium per capacity. Okay, you can see here this hyphen. For premium per user, the fee is $20. For premium per capacity, it is $5,000. Okay, so why I have written this $13.7 now? Because five to six months ago, the pro account fee has been increased but in today's case today i have seen on microsoft uh, website official website now there i there i have seen that right now it, it is showing 10 dollars so that's the reason i have given 10 dollars slash 13.7 dollars and the most important point is that you don't need to uh, pay this fee your company or client is paying so you don't know exact price how much they are paying okay but make sure that pro accounts fee is 10 dollars before five to six months it was made 13.7 dollars in premium per account there are two types premium per account per user and premium per capacity for premium per user the fees is 20 dollars and for premium per capacity it is five thousand dollars okay the second point is the power bi file which we are creating for example let's say that uh, you have created uh, your client had told to create a report and Let's say uh, the data is used like 80, 90 lakh rows are there. We can say 8, 9 million rows are there. Then uh, you have created so many uh, pages there like 12 to 13 pages were there, what requirements were there and 800 MB file is there. So for pro account, you can upload till 1 GB PBI file. More than 1 GB you can't upload in pro account. For that, what you have to do? Uh, if the file is going more than 1 GB, now in that case, you have to performance optimization on your file. You have to do some of the activities so that it will be the file size will be lesser. I have also created a specific video for performance optimization of Power BI file. There about 12 to 15 points I have given. You can read it or you can listen that uh, video also. You can watch that video also. Okay. So in case of pro account, Power BI file must be less than 1 GB to make it uh, so to publish it okay to upload it so if it is going more than 1 gb then uh, why it goes more than 1 gb so if you have created so many of calculated columns rather than majors this is the reason if you have used heavy custom visuals okay there is one option known as performance analyzer from there you can analyze which visual is taking how many seconds to load okay so you can also do that uh, thing again many things are there uh, in premium account per user, you can upload up to 100 GB and in premium per capacity till 400 GB. Okay, 
so see if the power bi file is going like 100 gb or this 400 gb then make sure this is how much data it will be there okay it will be uh, taken directly through landing or raw we can say or it can be like uh, the reports like census reports are there you all know that every 10 years census are there okay in country how many males are there females are there in that case the data is from 1951 to 2023 like this so in the, that type of cases now if historical or total historical data is done in that case uh, i have seen one report uh, about world war one and world war two in that case also the ppi file was so much big because the data was from uh, 1919 the world war one was in 1919 now in that case Okay, uh, for pro account you get a storage of 10 GB. Okay, for pro account you get a storage of 10 GB and for premium per user till 100 GB and same for premium per capacity also. Okay, means let's assume that if your file is of 1 GB you can upload 10 files in that case because you have got storage cloud of 10 GB. If 500 MB file is there then you can upload 20 file in that cases but not your storage will not exceed more than 10 gb in this case pro account for premium per user capacity about 100 tb 100 tb okay now coming to the fourth point this is the most extreme most important point also in interview they will ask how many times schedule refresh you were doing and everything if you if you have used pro account now in that case only eight times a day okay eight times a day you can schedule refresh and in case of premium per user per capacity schedule refresh 48 times a day you can schedule refresh for example you have done uh, today schedule refresh for eight times a day let's assume that at morning four times and at evening four times you have done and right now 11 pm is time and you want to do now so in that case you have to do manual refresh okay you have to do manual refresh but in pro account the schedule refresh will be only eight times a day in premium 40 times 48 times a day and coming to this uh, last four points uh, see these four first four points are uh, most important and these last four are uh, i have added additionally to gain some knowledge to you okay so now coming to fifth point that advanced level ai artificial intelligence can't be done in pro account okay the ai can be done but not at that advanced level but coming to premium per account huh? advanced level ais are there uh, you have also seen seen that data set one option is there auto create report in this that case we also use ai na, directly so when pro account is there now that time the report will be not that attractive or not that perfect in that auto create option but in case of premium it will be perfect everything okay so advanced level ai is, is not there in pro but in case of premium it is there and coming to this last three points more than 100 data source connectors are used in pro same goes to premium also paginated report can be created in pro as well as premium and mobile access what is there power bi mobile that can be also used with pro and premium okay and in both uh, of the account we can publish the report that you know only but still i am saying in both the accounts either it is pro or premium you can publish the report okay so now coming to the last point this is the hundred percent uh, question asked in the interview it can be asked in first technical round also also it can be asked to uh, ask in second technical logical scenario based round also and coming to manager round uh, in that manager round uh, they can just ask like how many times uh, schedule refresh you were doing in day what was the time and uh, again in manager round they can ask that what was the size of your pbi file okay so these types of question will be asked but 100% this question is going to come in interview mark my word here okay so this was the difference you can also take screenshot you can also make points what i have told in interview and write down in your notebook you can understand that point or you can even memorize that point because see this question 100% it is going to come you can also understand the concept and also you can memorize it because you can tell properly in interview at the end of the day See, at the end of the day, what interviewer will see now is that how many questions uh, answer he has given. Okay. So, if they are asking 10 questions to you in an interview, you must answer at least 7 questions. If they have asked 20 questions to you, you must answer at least 15 questions. And this question, 100% it is going to come. So, make sure you are understanding it logically and also you are memorizing it. No issue with that. Okay so thanks for watching till end if you have any kind of doubt 
make sure you are commenting i will reply within one hour theek hai and if you like the video like the video and uh, share with your friends and family and also subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media especially instagram and telegram thank you all Thank you.